Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. Greg, you're working on a wonderful column here to run on Thursday about Bob Baffert, arguably the biggest week of the Nogales native and U of A grad's life. If American Pharaoh can win Saturday, Saturday at the Belmont Stakes, uh, he will be a triple crown winner. Bob Baffert, we talk about humble beginnings. I mean, he is from Nogales, a 2,500-acre ranch, um, very much a southern Arizonan at heart. Oh, he went to school here for seven years. <laughs> His dad told me once, um, Bob, there are guys who go to school for seven years. You know what they're called? Doctors. <laughs> His dad had a sense of humor like Bob yeah. does. Yeah. Um, I was fortunate enough to get to talk to his dad three or four times. It was, I didn't want to hang up. He, he was so entertaining. Tell me about sort of Bob Baffert's roots. I mean, Nogales, Arizona, especially 40, 50 years ago, I mean, must have just seemed remote. You know, if you've ever gone, and I think many Tucsonans have gone to the Sonoid Affair the first week, it coincides with the Kentucky Derby. Right. They have horse races there, very entertaining. Yeah. Bob, that's where Bob Baffert started. He rode in there as a jockey. As a jockey? He was a jockey until he got too big. He was, he was going to be a jockey, but he just got too big. <laughs> yeah, from there he went on to Rito. You know, he, there was right. a, a great story uh, we, re or we had in Sunday's paper. He said that, you know, in Rito and quarter horse racing, I mean, it's very much just guys talking smack. I mean, the, there wasn't a lot of uh, finesse to it, let's say. No. Uh, where did his big break come after Rito? Well, he, he met a guy named Mike Pegram, very wealthy guy who owns McDonald's, mm -hmm. who was into quarter horse racing. They became soulmates, basically, mm -hmm. yeah. kindred spirits. Mm -hmm. And with Pegram's money and, and Bob's instincts, mm -hmm. Pegram said, uh, hey, let's go to Thoroughbred. There's more money in that. It's mm -hmm. more fun. Yeah. Bam. He goes from Los Alamitos, New Mexico, mm -hmm. to California. Mm -hmm. And he was in the Kentucky Derby in, what, six years? Mm -hmm. Six years later? And now he's... Uh, Probably has at any given time 50 of the top horses in the world in his stable. Is he the most identifiable person in horse racing? I think he passed Dean, D. Wayne Lucas, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, he just, plus he, his looks. Yes. Plus, he's the most, if he wins the Triple Crown this week, he might pass Linda Ronstadt as the most famous Tucson in ever. That's possible. It'll be right there. <laughs> what a great moment in sports we have coming up here on Saturday. The Belmont Stakes in Elmont, New York, American Pharaoh trained by Bob Baffert, goes for the Triple Crown. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. For Greg Hansen, I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.